Howdy folks, Johnny and I are just finishing up a quarter mile of fence here. It's taking us, oh it'll probably take us two hours when we get all set and done. We're putting up two, uh, two wires for the sheep on the half inch fiberglass posts. Look like this. Um, they kind of try to sharpen them sometimes, but I think the sharpener guy uh, falls asleep on his job most of the time. Anyway, we're putting these posts in every 21 feet and putting our two wires up. I wanted to, to talk about this fence a little bit and kind of help help you guys out. Um, some tips and some things to do different uh, than what you'll, you're you gonna see at the places that sell you fence. Um, when you buy the half inch rods, they're gonna send you with these goofy little plastic caps because you don't wanna just hit the end with a hammer because you'll mess up the fiberglass a little bit. Well, these caps are terrible. You got you gotta hang on to it like this and then start wailing away with it like with a hammer. And uh, you get one of these for every 20 posts and it probably won't last 20 posts. So get rid of these goofy caps. They're way too big too. And they'll, I mean, I hit them so hard that I would, that they would melt and get all squishy and usually the bottom will just blow out and that's the end of it. So I'm gonna start making these and put them on our website, but it's a piece of pipe that fits perfectly on there. And I cut a bolt with a perfectly square edge that goes down about this far and welded it through the sides and welded it on the end. Then you got something to hang on to and that'll keep you going straight and you can wheel away with big old eight pound hammer and it won't damage it at all. So you gotta either get one of these from our website Farm Tough Leatherworks or build yourself one. But you can't you can't just weld the bolt head. You've gotta weld and drill some holes and weld through the side. Because I built one and I blew the end off of it. There, there's a lot of force going into these posts. And then we got our clips. Now, I've been using these. Well, the tag's kind of missing this one. This one will say a Willie Kilmer clip from PowerFlex. Those are the ones you want. They, for steel wire. They're only for steel wire. They're stamped spring steel. And they, they're kind of a pain. And they're sharp. And they're pokey. And, but... They're the best things for hanging on to this steel wire. So you'll get your steel wire up here, put it on, and then bend it. And boy, these things will hang on. The deer aren't gonna knock this a good Willie Kilmer off. Now you might wanna wear gloves. I don't, because I got really tough fingers for <laughs> from doing this so many times. Um, but these things, I mean, this is, these are sharp. I wanted, so I, tr I wanted to try out some other, some other clips. PowerFlex had three different kinds. Um, I got them in different bags now. Just to see, because the Willie Kilmers look kind of goofy, and they're hard on your fingers, and my, uh, little brothers and sisters don't really like them because they're sharp. So I decided to try some other ones. So I got some, uh, these are butterfly clips. Stainless steel, or stainless butterfly clips is what they said. We lost the paper, so I don't have it. But anyway, you have to, so these you'll squeeze and fit it on. The only problem is it's really hard to get the wire in. There, I got it. I got it that time. After, ow, don't bite me. After you put the thing on, and if you don't have strong fingers, you gotta use a pair of pliers. Now I got it stuck in there. I'm too dumb to figure out how to get it out. There. So these are a much a much cleaner looking deal. They're, the easiest way to do it is to put the wire in first. 
and then put it on. But if you don't have one of my good post pounders, you're gonna smash the top of this a little bit and you're gonna have a terrible time getting this on if it's flared out at all. The Willie Kilmer clips, the hole is bigger than you need because it gets cocked sideways. So it'll fit on even if you've been smashed on them with a hammer. So these little butterfly clips, they're pretty good. Um, if that's what you wanted to use, you'd get good at it. You'd probably be faster than I am at putting them on. And, I, and they're gonna hang on pretty good. You could, uh, if a deer runs through, it'll, it'll probably, your wire will probably stay on. These other ones, oh, and if you're gonna run poly wire, you gotta use something like this. You can, you, you can run poly wire through those. And those would work way better with poly wire than they would with steel wire. Because you'll be able to get it in there with real easy and stuff. Now these uh, stainless rod clips, I was not impressed. Um, they would work fine for poly wire. So they're even harder to get on. And all they have is this little tab right here. You can't use this part, that's just a handle. So all they have is this little clip and, which is super easy to put in. But I mean, a deer is gonna just knock that out. I mean, there's just, I don't care what you do. That That's not strong enough. You can just yank it out. But um, for a poly wire fence, that would be okay because you don't need it that strong. So anyway, don't buy the stainless rod clips that look like this if you're gonna run steel wire. Get the butterfly clips or better yet the Willie Kilmers if you have tough fingers and you want something that's gonna be the best. <laughs> anyway, that's our fencing tips for today. Thanks for watching.